Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I was, li you know how you re-listen to it? And I am redoing it because it was chopping. Uh, they didn't like that. They did not like that. Exposed them. They did not like that. So I'm doing it again. So those that um were on it before, I guess you listened again or not. But praise God. Praise God. I was on this video that you actually see right here. And they started skipping it. I was talking about day two. That I took a Uber, uh, a Uber, I say Uber. <laughs> um, point blank in the story, the guy was an older guy, Caucasian guy, about 69, 60, maybe even 70. Older, but cocky. And what I was talking about is basically this is what he was doing. He was letting me know who he was. He was a plant. Um, in old in the game. And, and I let it be known that I appreciate that he came at me straight up in rare form he didn't hide he didn't lie he just was straight up so again for those that are joining they chopped it up so much i'm doing it again so i guess you got to put up again if they want to whatever the case we could do this all night come on somebody hallelujah because i got to get the message out there to y'all what they're doing so point blank we're driving and he's doing small talk but really he dropping dimes soon as i got in the car he, he and I'm just listening because you're not supposed to just come out the gate quick. Sometimes you just listen to see what their game plan is. So he's just saying stuff that I know that he's a plant. Point blank. In the so long story short, there was a car coming and he had his bright lights on. And long story short again, he said, oh, he lucky. He lucky that I don't have time because I will show him who I really am. And by this time, I'm listening real, 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 you know. And like I said earlier in the other one, I'm not exaggerating. This all happened play by play. That's probably why they're chopping up my video. So that's why I'm redoing it. He said, yeah, um, I will show them how powerful I am. I know voodoo, hoodoo. I know how to do it all. And then he started saying, we know how to inflict pain like never before. We know how to make it hurt. He just kept saying we. At this point, I'm... I'm the power of God. I start saying, you know what? The power of God is real. You know what I'm saying? I, the power of God rose up in me and I started testifying. I said, Jesus Christ is real. That's my Lord and Savior. So you told me who you are. Let me tell you who I am. Point blank in the story. These people, you know, they want to, they want to be known. They coming out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So he's taught, he's professing voodoo, voodoo and all this stuff. And I'm professing Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I'm not shut up. So he kind of like backed down a little. And that's when I backed up a little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ sits on side of me. I say, if he really sit on side of you, you wouldn't be talking about you do and all this powerful you are because the power of God is real. But he laughs. He chuckles because he's an older guy. He know what he believe. He he understands. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He know who what he is. He know what he do. You know what I'm saying? So by this time, I'm like, wow. Wow. You know, I have to respect him because at least he came at me to my face and let me know he's a warlock. See, I, I I can't respect no no like them hiders. You know, I the hand. I can't deal with that. I mean, I, I deal with you if I have to. Don't get it twisted. But I'd rather somebody straight up tell me, hey, this is who I am, and that's what that man did. That man came at me straight to my face, point blank in the story. I was a warlock, and I let him know I was a prophetess of God. Come on, somebody. So what's up? Hallelujah. So when I get out the car, he said, Well, I don't know what you're doing in California, and I said, Don't worry. In a minute, y'all all gonna know. So it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy. Um, it was so choppy, so I had to redo it. I said, Wow, they, they don't want they don't want me to tell y'all the truth. I have to, because guess what? I'm a far burner, so y'all think y'all not gonna go through that? Some of you will, not all of you, because point blank, you gotta be ready for stuff like that. Hallelujah. I was also talking about where I'm at. I had a vision, and I, I doubt if it was a vision. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That while I was sleeping, they were all around in hoods chanting, because I'm I'm in a I'm in a. <laughs> oh, I'm about to go here. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ever think I don't know where I'm at and who I'm surrounded around. A real apostolic leader, a man, a woman of God. We don't run from stuff. We run in straight up into it, straight up face to face with the enemy. What's up? What's up? I know who you are. Do you know who I am? In Christ Jesus, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You gotta understand what time. They don't care. It's time for us to rise up too. Because they letting it be known. Hallelujah. So, whew, 
I just had to get up on here and do it again because I didn't appreciate that choppiness. I mean, you can't hardly hear anything. It, they was chopping up every other sentence. <laughs> so they must be mad. Hallelujah. So you guys just stay strong. Stay on the wall. Stay prayed up. I'm fasting. Um, this is, let me tell you something. These kind come, come out but by fasting and prayer. You can't beat the enemy. Without the power of God, the presence of God, and praying and fasting. You can't do it, people. You'll wear yourself out. I'm telling you right now. Oh, and I forgot the part to reiterate, too. So I was coughing. Uh, you sound like you got the um, coronavirus. And I'm rebuking all that stuff. And No, but you don't. And that's another That's another part of that. And um, you know what? I'm going here tonight. I'm going here. They should have never messed with me. I'm going here. And I've said this before, but I haven't reiterated in a minute. Remember when I told y'all I used to wake up with needle holes in my toes? Y'all notice I've been sick for the last two weeks? It's, it's gone ever since the conference. I'm still, can't hardly talk, to be honest with y'all. You know, can't hardly breathe, which I will be, I'm going to be okay. I feel like something has happened, but I know I'm going to be okay because God told me I will be. I'm going to be because guess what? That's what y'all need. I, I Play games, hide, lie, whatever the case may be. I really won't go say nothing about it. I woke up about maybe four or five days ago with two holes in my um, and I don't I don't take no needle um, no kind of medicine like that. As a matter of fact, I don't take no medicine. Period. I take Advil PM. So y'all tell me what's going on. <laughs> I already know, but like God told me, they into my assignment over with. So whatever I gotta go through, I guess I gotta go through. It is what it is. So. He said, "Oh, you you sound like you got the coronavirus. No, whatever y'all 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 put in me, that's what I got. But guess what? I ain't going nowhere. How you doing? How you doing? This what we doing? This what we doing? I'm still going to handle my assignment. I'm still going to do what God said to do. Hallelujah. That's right. I ain't scared. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless."